This video will answer four questions. The meaning of EBITDA and how it's calculated. The difference between EBITDA and operating profit and how to create an EBITDA bridge with a waterfall chart. If this sounds interesting, keep watching. EBITDA is an acronym for earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. And it is simply a financial metric used to measure the profitability of companies. Investors and analysts often use EBITDA in the valuation of companies as a proxy for cash flow. This simply means that EBITDA is used to measure how much cash a company has generated from its business operations. So how is EBITDA calculated? Some companies report EBITDA as a separate line item, some don't. If it's not reported, simply take the net income on the income statement and add back income tax, interest, depreciation and amortization expenses. So basically EBITDA considers profit from corporations and excludes the impact of the cost of debt capital, taxes to government and non-cash expenses. A C was recently introduced to EBITDA to adjust for the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on profitability. Now, this started out as a joke, but has been reported by some companies. However, it is uncertain that investors will accept it as a performance measure going forward. What are your thoughts about it? Please share in the comments below. When EBITDA is expressed as a percentage of total revenue, it is referred to as EBITDA margin, which can be used to compare a company's performance to its peers. A common question I get asked is this, what is the difference between EBITDA and operating profit? EBITDA and operating profit are both measures of a company's profitability. EBITDA is simply the profit before interest and income tax, depreciation and amortization while operating profit is the profit before interest and income tax. A simple tool used to present details on the drivers of the year-over-year -year change in EBITDA to investors and other stakeholders is a bridge chart, which is also known as a waterfall chart. A waterfall chart shows the impact of positive and negative values on an opening balance. It can also be used to analyze sales, inventory, headcount, and so on over a period of time. An EBITDA bridge visually indicates the specific items that impacted profitability during the period. I'll show you how to create a simple EBITDA bridge in a few steps. A bridge can be created for two or more periods. This data is for two periods. Step 1. Calculate the year-over-year -year change for revenue and costs. That will be current year minus prior year. I'll copy and paste this. Step two, prepare the data for the chart. Start with the prior year EBITDA value equals B11. Populate the year over year changes by category and sum them up. This should be equal to the current year EBITDA. Good. Step three, select the data, go to the insert tab and insert a waterfall chart. I'll expand this and remove grid lines. Step four, the columns for the initial and final value should start on the horizontal axis, while the intermediate values should be floating columns. So double click to select the column for prior year EBITDA, then right click or go to the format pane and select set as total. The color changes automatically. Let's repeat the same process for current year EBITDA. Right click and set as total. Cool. Step five, the categories have distinct colors. So you should be able to distinguish between positive, negative, and total columns. To draw attention to a category or change their colors, you can click on the legend, then click again to select a category. See, it highlights their position on the chart. Let's change increase to green. Right click, fill with green. 
change decrease to red right click and fill with red to change the position of the legend click on the chart elements icon and select position I'll place it at the bottom you can change the style here as well step 6 give the chart a title or describe the major driver of EBITDA in the chart title now unlike the regular bar chart you can move the chart title in a waterfall chart and you can embed a text box or shape inside the chart however you can group the text box and the chart I'll use the chart title as is at a glance we can identify the major driver of growth and that is revenue revenue increased by 1.5 million but was offset by the increase in cost of sales payroll and g and a expenses the reduction in marketing and other expenses also contributed marginally to the growth in EBITDA to provide more insight you can include a breakdown of revenue to help investors identify the product driving the increase in revenue that's all for today I hope you found the video useful please leave a comment Click the like button, subscribe, bye.